Twitter and Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 8 Presentation Basics. Basics. Content of this video is opening a new presentation and parts of main impress window. So, the 8th chapter is Presentation Basics. So first of all, what is a presentation software? A presentation software is a computer software package used to, to show information in the form of slideshow. This is the most important and very useful thing to represent any content. So it's a office automation tool. It is used in many places. Even you are seeing the video through a presentation. So the content used in this video also a presentation. Even in office, whether it is a government office or information technology, IT field or any other thing, they need a presentation to represent their concept to anyone. So learning this will be very useful for you. So what are the main functions of a presentation software? An editor that allows the text to be inserted and formatted. A method for inserting manipulating graphics image. Image can be inserted, that means audio, video, everything can be inserted. A slideshow system to display the content slideshow, the movement, animation. Presentation software is used to create presentations, quizzes, e-learning packages and multimedia products. Most presentation software packages will create your multimedia product using a series of slides. Text, image, video, animations, links, sounds can be combined on each slide to create a final product. The most commonly known presentation programs are OpenOffice, Impress and Microsoft PowerPoint, Apple's Keynote. So, most of the people are using the Microsoft PowerPoint. But OpenOffice is your syllabus because it's an open software source, open source software. So, it can be installed and uh, for free and it can be edited, but it is controlled by a group of people. In this chapter, we are going to explore OpenOffice, uh, open uh, uh, that organization's uh, software called Impress. Nothing but it is very easy like the, our presentation or PowerPoint in MS Microsoft PowerPoint. It looks like the Microsoft PowerPoint. So, Impress is the open office presentation and it contains different elements like text, bulletin, numbers, tables, charts, clip parts and a range of graphic objects. How to open a new presentation? First, we have to open the Open Office. All programs of Open Office, Open Office Impress. So, all programs Open Office here. Can you see a presentation slide? Now, you are going to learn. Uh, to create a presentation using empty presentation from template and open existing presentations. So, you can create a presentation by any one of the following methods by creating empty presentation or uh, from template. Another point is by selecting from existing presentation. So using template. So using template. In the empty presentation under the tile 1. And the presentation wizard. Next, select a slide design. We'll do it now. So next, slide design. Here is backgrounds. Here, 
it will show the preview of the background next any effect for the slide transition can you see this so create so three important thing one is slides another one is the um, this is said to be the five tabs normal outline notes handout slide shorter and this is the property window next one is from template here are the there is a template already given if you want you can select this template Here also we can give transitions. If you want, you can give name of the company, subject of the presentation. If it is a template means then the of uh, creation is very easy because it will be very useful for a uh, instant creation of a presentation if you want to do a presentation you know within one hour or half an hour it's a immediate requirement means we can take the default and you can use the slides see here we can add, uh, insert a new slide also here but as it is a template it will have all the slides with the particular design so we can simply use it whatever we require if we want our own creation means we have to start with empty templates so this is what given in the book using template you can select template and from template there will be options from the options we can select our own template next one is open existing presentation open existing means we have to choose a file from the folder and we can open and if you want we can edit now we'll see the main parts of the window slide pan left side the workspace and the task pan Additionally, several toolbars can be displayed or hidden during creation of a presentation. So, so the three things, slide pan, workspace and the task pan. So this is said to be task pan or sidebar, workspace and slide pans. So this is the window. So this is the slide pan, this is the task pan and this is the workspace. Okay. Slide pans contain thumbnails of pictures. So it contains thumbnails of pictures. Clicking the slide in the pan selects and places it in the workspace. While there, while it is there, you can apply any changes. So one, we can add a slide, mark a slide to hidden, delete a slide. So these things can be done in the slide pan. Rename a slide, copy or move a slide. 
it is also possible to perform the following operations change the slide transition change the sequence of slides change the slide design slide transition sequence of slides slide design slide layout then task pan task pan has five sections master page the five things are one is master page layout so we'll see one by one so first one is slides in the slides it's a, only one slide is here so right click new slide and the slide is here so this is slide one and this is slide two so i'm adding another slide if you see here this is one head one title and another title okay here you can add a image here also like that here slide layout or else right click slide layout okay so here appears the layout here i can change the layout here it is a title with the image if i make it as blank it will change to blank so here whatever else we can add or else we can make it as double layer so this layout will change the appearance of the slide you learned how to add a slide you learned how to change the layout of a slide then rename it is slide 3 i am giving as third next one height so if you hide you can see the uh, difference in the display so it shows that it is hidden so if i move the cursor here can you see that it is third tooltip is to showing as third here it will be slide 2 here it will be slide 1 can you see the small uh, picture while it's coming here slide 1 slide 2 here it's third because we changed the slide name rename slide transition so clockwise so this is the transition effect so you learned We learn the packages. Layouts. Master page. So what is master page? If we give a content in this page, it will be applied to all the pages. I'll explain. We have seen slide transitions, style, we have to learn. The five sections of um, task pan is one is master page, one is layout, another one is table design. So another one is uh, slide transition. So another one is custom animation. These things are the five segments. Master page, custom animation, slide transition, and one more thing is
table design. So we are going to learn one by one what is custom animation, what is slide transition. Slide transition we have seen. So we are going to see custom animation. It will be very interesting. So first slide is here. Second slide it is hider. So we'll make it a show. If we want, we can change the layout, how to change the layout. Right click, layout. So we can change the layout as blank. Right click. If I select the slide, this title, can you see the text property window on the right side? So we can change the color of the text, even the font. Custom animation means if I select element here, I can give a animation to it. random effect it will come in another any effect on each time so this slight transition no transitions is applied yet so we will give a wipe down and for this slide we can give another effect so if you want to see the preview we have to go to slideshow slideshow option uh, shortcut is f5 so as it is in the second slide it is coming in so i am right click and show see here keep in the first slide slideshow so wipe down slide one so each element is coming like that and we can give background color to the slide and we can add many more things so you you have learned how to create a new presentation uh, from empty presentation and template and the three segments slide pans workspace and the task pan in the task pan you have learned properties window uh, custom animation slide transitions apart from that there are two things one is master page and another one is table design so we'll learn one by one so that's all for this session if try this animation at your home thank you have a good day so you learn to create open a new presentation and the important parts of the window.